is Chantal from the Burn Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to show you how I make some of the embellishments or additions to my journal. I just started a new journal. It will be called the Butterfly Journal and it's all butter butterfly themed. I have new papers in my Etsy shop if you ever <clears throat> want to use the same papers as I'm using. Um, I think, yes, I made a um, YouTube short where I present all the papers. So YouTube shorts, for some of you who are not familiar with that, um, they're videos that are all under one minute. So it doesn't take too much of your time and you can learn a bunch of things. So um, in the, the YouTube shorts, I will link it. I present those papers so you can get, take a, a decent look at them. Although you will see them through this process um, of these videos making this journal because that's what I'm using and also if you want to know how I did uh, the cover for this journal I also have a YouTube short about another journal I made and I show exactly how I do this it's the same process every time so really quick what I've done is I used some of my paper that I printed on cardstock um, this as, as well and I cover whether it's an old box of cereal or a box of cookies, it doesn't matter. Um, you define the size that you want. I also kept a few of the flaps, as you can see here, because I then use them to make pockets like so. So when I decide where I'm going to have my pockets or my flaps, if you will, I lay the box on a piece of fabric. I cut around it and then I glue and then I, I stitched around, I sewed all around, although you don't really see it once I added this, but it's there and I know it's there. So, you know, um, sometimes you will see it more if the image I put on top is smaller, but this time I thought this, this is how I wanted it. So it doesn't really show um, the sewing all around. Let me fix the light here. I think it's not bright enough. There you go. And so, um, and then once I'm done, I uh, put, I covered the inside with also the cardstock. I usually put metallic corners on my journals and I also put eyelets to pass the um, the uh, little ribbons or ropes or whatever I'm going to use to do the um, sewing of the signatures. So um, I did make, I'm not gonna lie, and this will go on Etsy and whoever wants to buy it, it's okay. If not, that's fine too. Um, my eyelets, I did have trouble with them, but when it's all said and done and you have all your ribbons or ropes or whatnot that you use, it all looks fabulous. So you don't have to worry if it's not super perfect because it's perfect imperfection and that's what it's all about. This is all handmade products. So sometimes there's little mis mishaps. We sometimes correct it. We uh, Let's say you don't cut something on the line really precisely you can always ink the edges to cover up um you can i don't know maybe you dropped a, a sip of your coffee on something although we do love coffee stains but maybe you didn't want the specific stain there a lot of times we'll just add something on top a piece of fabric and then whoops it takes a whole other life right it it, it takes it a whole other direction and then it's even more beautiful than we thought so there's always ways of fixing this and this one is not completely straight with the other and because I hammer my things in sometimes it, it's not super great but we usually don't end up seeing those they're more for the overall um, how can I say not stability but the strength of the journal I like to put the eyelets whenever I can so there it is but if you want to see how I did that there's a one minute video on it I will also link that video so I will put this aside for now because we're not going to be using it now we're making things that will go inside so some of them I will show some of them I will just more explain what I've done because well they're already done and I don't want to have a duplicate necessarily for this journal let me take a sip of my wonderful coffee because it is morning <laughs> mm. oh my goodness it feels so good I hope you all had a good uh, Christmas or, or holidays depending on what you celebrate I hope you got to be with family I did not I was only me and my boy but that's okay um, sometimes that's how it happens 
so okay in my new kit you get specimen cards like these um where's the original of this let me see i want oh yeah there you go so you get specimen cards so <clears throat> you know how i love to do specimen cards with transparencies and such it's you can do this two ways if you don't have the i don't know i just use this is recycled packaging right and what i like to do is use something that is translucent or somewhat translucent right just like that and i will show you right now i will make i will take my paper cutter just because i want to make a very nice score line so that i don't leave it the chance to fold it right where it's supposed to be so I will put this, I will bring the blue down because a lot of times I've used the white one and cut everything off. <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> okay, hold on. Mm, see, I even managed not to put it quite in the middle. Oh, okay, well, we'll have to force it. <laughs> okay. And we will fold it and see if it's even or not. But yeah, that's why I wanted the score line, just to help me out a tiny bit. Oh, you know what? I might have done it right. I might have done it right. I did. Okay. Let me get my... You're a little far, aren't you? Let me get closer here. There we go. So yeah, this year it was just me and my boy. I was more worried about him, <clears throat> him finding that it's boring. Because, you know, he's 12 going on 13. Hanging out with your mother on Christmas, just the two of you, could be a little boring. But you know what? It worked out fine. We had a great time, I have to say. I did good. <laughs> okay, so what I do is, well, you have two options. So if you don't have packaging or you don't want to be bothered doing this, you can always do what I've done. So I printed this other page twice. Or if you have butterflies that are already fussy cut somewhere... Uh, you can do that you can or you can cut this glue a butterfly here and use the back for a journaling space and this becomes just a journaling card or you can fold it right in half like we did the other like so And if you want, you can or make two different or the same pre to pretend it's the same card and it's translucent even if it's not like a real window. And you can glue two of the same butterfly on each side and you got yourself like a somewhat real specimen card, but it just doesn't have the see-through factor, which is fine. But again, you can also just cut it in half and use each separately and use them as journaling cards. You would probably make it look older or glue a piece of, I don't know, coffee stained paper or ink it somewhat with these brushes where it looks a little less white, if you will. And you would have a beautiful journaling card that looks like a specimen card. I think this is actually quite lovely. There's nothing wrong with that. And um, I did put numbers and the word specimen here I did not, but you probably have all kinds of stamps where you could add numbers. You don't have to have the word specimen. Um, you know, you can probably just stamp a few numbers and make it look like, you know, like the specimen card. So that's an idea. I'm going to put this aside because that's not where, what we are doing. So we will do this. So what I will do is make sure that my um, packaging is big enough and do I dare try and cut it before I glue it I'm not super great maybe I'll just make like this and try and go straight did I succeed let me see yes uh, yes if there's a tiny bit of excess I can always trim it at the end so I will use my double-sided tape like so of course you can use what i use a lot and you all love um which are these i press i use pressed flowers that i use in the laminating machine 
and then there you go but because it's butterflies and i don't <laughs> i don't have dried up <laughs> dried butterflies in my possession nor do i want to <laughs> i love them very alive and <laughs> fluttering around so <laughs> um yeah i'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay I would like all my butterfly specimens to be fake ones. Thank you very much. So yeah, it was just my boy and I, but we had a great time. And I have to say, um, we, it was different. Like I liked it. Instead of making the traditional turkey and all the trimmings, as they say, we made a paella and it was a delicious. I am so happy about it. It was my first time trying to make one. And uh, yeah, I must say that saffron really tastes delicious. It, it's, it makes the meal. <laughs> it makes the dish. Okay. Like so. Oops. Come on, you. Come here. There you go. And I will show you something else after okay and and later in the video I will let you know how you can get a freebie 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 we like freebies I'm not used to not that I'm not used to giving freebies I always want to give freebies let me show you what it's going to be it's going to oops <laughs> let me see there you go it's going to be these I made these and I was going to make an uh, old vintage photo journal you know thing I just did another generation for uh, journal it's not called generation this time I don't remember what I called it um, the story maybe story journal I'm not sure but it's gone <laughs> hi Vera <laughs> your journal must be close by <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I send it to Vera. Vera, I don't know if it's Vera or Vera. I apologize for that, Vera, if I'm not pronouncing your name properly. Um, so yes, I I made I just made a journal of that you know nature of, of that subject, if you will. But um, I'm not sure. Well, I will probably eventually make a whole set that you know refers to this. But for now, I thought for those of you who want to make an old journal. Well, why not give you these pictures that I've reworked, you know, and rearranged to look even older and added all kinds of things to them. And yeah, I will give those to you and I will tell you how a little later in the video. Okay, so let me see here. Hmm. I have more translucent butterflies, but I don't know. Those are, they're not the ones I wanted. So it won't be perfect because the back is not clear. The image is not as clear. If you have two, you can always glue, you know, one on each side, but I don't. So it will have to do. Oh, I didn't put it straight in the middle. I don't know if I can, I don't want to rip it. Okay. Let's try again. There you go. Beautiful. Now we will put some double sided tape again to close the whole thing. Like so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops. <laughs> there. Perfect. Okay. You can use glue. I just use double-sided tape because, well, the less glue everywhere on my fingers, the better. And sometimes you don't need glue, liquid glue, I mean. 
double-sided tape will do just fine in this instance okay and you fold everything there we go and if there's anything to trim of course you can do that like so there tiny bit of white here I forgot to bring my camera close again sorry about that and then I will ink the edges and you've got yourself a beautiful specimen card there you go like I said the back is not as <clears throat> you know but I think it's fine I think it's fine you could have also like I mentioned also you could glue two identical butterflies back to back and then instead of just gluing it on top of the um, packaging let me show you okay so hold on I have the packaging so you could also take packaging and when you cut it um, I don't know if you can see that but it's it opens right I didn't I left the edge if you will and you would glue two identical butterflies of course you would have to probably trim once you glue them and you would then put them in between the two and usually a tiny bit of double-sided tape will be perfect for that because it will tend to disappear in the image and you could put just a tiny dot in in the middle or real glue or translucent in the middle of the body so your butterfly doesn't move in the packaging and then slip that inside your specimen card just like we did with this except now when you turn it around the butterfly looks the same on both sides um, there's all kinds of op options I'm just showing you different ways to do it okay okay let's put this aside so for those of you who have uh, whether it's the big shot the sidekick or a cricket machine this is for you I print I printed and well actually I cut with my cricket but it could like I said if you have a any kind of die cutting machine so all you have to do is make multiple of the same like such hold on like this and you glue them all together and they become like chipboards I've done this before um, they were thicker when I did it the first time but this is just another type and I glued them together I kind of inked the edges and I also put some I don't know if you can see that let me zoom in you see how shiny this is beautiful isn't it it's um, this product here it's premium shimmer ink pad moonlight white very beautiful there's all kinds of ways you could also just leave it whatever color you use for your you know to make the chipboard I use just regular cardstock so I cut I think this is three layers or four layers of it glued it all together and then I did this because I have the idea now I don't know where I'm going to put it on my journal but I want to put it somewhere like this I think it's it adds dimension because it's obviously thicker than just a let's say if I did this a flat piece of paper although it is still pretty good because it is a die cut and you can actually see that it's a die cut but this is just I don't know it's just thicker it's it's more beautiful and I love that it shimmers although the camera has to be close for you to see it but in real life you see it right away there you go really really love it so that's a thing that we forget that we forget we can do so cut many pieces glue them together and then you have yourself a pretty solid chipboard like element that you can use in your journals so I made this I had another idea that I didn't do I thought it would be pretty as well so instead of making a chipboard let's say you can have it even more try three-dimensional and what I did then is you leave this one flat you kind of curl the second one and you would glue on the body only and you curl the third one even more and you glue it on the body just like such look how pretty this would be beautiful and not only that you could also 
or you you cut these in three different shades so you could choose you know um i don't know maybe a dark blue lighter blue and even lighter blue or whatever color you want or you could also uh tint them with your um distress um ink to me so let's say i would use let me get a piece of this so i don't dirty everything so let's say i want this one the back one to be the darkest so i would probably use um what shade is that i think that's the one that's called espresso but we can't see anymore um i can't see dark okay <laughs> let's all agree it's dark so you could darken this now i haven't tried it i'm just you know trying with you because i thought this is a good idea and also by the way as you can see in the back this is also a great way to put like use as a stencil really when you do your chipboards or your die cuts in a cardstock it is very easy to then use it as a stencil to do all kinds right so let's say i want this one this color and then I would use maybe, okay, so this is the darkest color. I didn't make it super dark, but I think you'll see where I'm going. So then I will use vintage photo, let's say, a little lighter shade. like I said you could use or the card stock itself in different colors I think that would be really fabulous but if you don't have different color card stock like I don't I only have the white one and you have many many of these colors a lot of you have all kinds of colorful uh, distress ink pads I don't and uh, they're usually in the vintage shades <laughs> I think I didn't make the first one dark enough I'm probably gonna have to go back Maybe with this one. This one is walnut stain. I think this is pretty dark. Let me go back on the first one. It's not that it has to be dark. I'm just trying something here with you guys, right? Or you ladies. Why do we always say guys? It's an old thing. I'm an old person. <laughs> I'm not that old. 52 is not old, especially when you're 30 some in your head. <laughs> Okay, I have to be with a young child, right? He's only going to be 13. Gotta stay young. In my heart, in my head. Okay. And let's say the last one will do burlap something. Frayed burlap, I think it's called. For the last one let's see i hope it looks good because i'm just trying this idea with you <laughs> i did not try before of course why would i <laughs> ah. okay Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we would. I'm just going to use this because it's only the body. I'm only gluing the body because we want it to stay somewhat tri three tri dimensional. I don't know. Tri dimensional. I don't know. Is that the word? So you just have to make sure you're aligning it real good. Oh, I did good. Okay, another piece. Wait, wait now. Why is it? Oh, <laughs> hold on. I didn't leave the glue. It all came together. You know how sometimes you put the tape, but if you don't press. <laughs> I had done good. It was aligned. It's just. There was no glue. Let me. I 
there okay now let's try and do this again perfectly aligned now that there is actual glue okay not bad oh I like it okay let me see another one I don't know if there's snow where you live, but my parents are back home in Quebec. That's where I come from. And oh my gosh, the snow. Oh, mon dieu. I think they don't even usually get all of that through the winter, or they do, but this time they got it in two shots. So, yeah, there's a lot of snow. <laughs> and here we see the grass. There's no snow. We had snow. It's all gone now because it's always raining. Ugh, I'd rather snow, really. Okay, I'd rather summer, don't get me wrong. If I could, I'd go ahead and live somewhere it's always warm-ish. I hear I find it funny when someone like my friend Karen says, it's chilly here in Florida, I just want to laugh. I just want to laugh. It's like, chilly? Are you kidding me? You want to come over here? <laughs> but I know what she means. Oh, look at that. You know what, I... I I'm thinking now I should have colored also both sides because I think it would look better when you I don't know but let's say you would want it on a journal this is actually really beautiful or imagine you make a, a birthday card or something this is really lovely but I would I would <clears throat> stain um, both sides maybe not the back one because that would be the one that you glue completely flat but for the two other ones, I would color it so it doesn't look so white. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I like it. I might use this with flowers and such. You know, just make multiple um, die cuts of the same image. And oh, this is really beautiful. Now I'm kind of thorn. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I do like this one that I've made. But this is something else oh well I don't know what I'm going to end up with and this is why I'm going to show you that's my the other thing I wanted to show you we're not gonna make it together because it's easy to explain um, plus I already done it I I didn't stop myself to record I apologize about that usually I do let me just put things away okay so I put things away so this is another thing I've done and I'm I'm trying to figure out what the front of my journal is going to look like so this was also very easy, very pleasant to do. And I will explain it to you. It's the same principle as the, um, the specimen window we just did together. Okay, same deal, same products. And the reason I did it with packaging is because I have a laminating machine, which, you know, I could have put the both butterflies in the laminating machine and pass it through, which I might do. But for those of you who don't have a laminating machine, because let's face it, we don't all have all kinds of equipment. I don't have everything. I want to give you options. So I just use packaging and a sticker like we just did for this. And what I've done is I took uh, one of my beautiful, beautiful coffee stained papers from uh, Paperlogy. And yes, you can still use that 15% off coupon. Um, you just have to write the Purring Cat Studio just in one big long sentence and that will give you your 15% coupon. I'm just trying to see what kind of page. This I'm going to buy again, by the way. You're too close. Let me back up. There you go. This I'm buying this pack again because I'm always hesitant to use, you know, one of them because, oh, it's so beautiful. But no, no, I have got to use them. Well, that's another one I could show you with. Yeah, it's going to be a tiny bit smaller, but that's fine. So easy peasy. All I've done is fold it in half, like so. And I just took something round and made a circle inside. So, like, I don't know, that's too small. Um, I need a circle. What is big enough? Let me see. Okay, well, I couldn't find one. And this is not big enough, and I know it. I just want to make a circle, and then I will adjust myself. Okay, so um, let me just punch a hole here to start. Okay, 
because the circle punches that I have, you have to be really close to the edge. That's one thing I don't like about circle punches is if, if you're not close to the edge, you can't just make a circle in, right in the middle of the page, which is why the Cricut is good for that. Or if you have, like I said, the sidekick or the big shot uh, die cutting machine, then it's great because you can just put the paper in there and use one of your circle dies and there you go, which I do have by the way. But right now I didn't want to take the whole thing out so I will just cut it with my scissors. I'm not good at cutting circles especially this one is not really traced because I traced at the beginning but now as you can see I'm going bigger because I know I need it just because I know what I'm going to use. So. Might as well do another one right with you. There. Okay, so I made these with my Cricut, but again, if you have dies, you can use that. This one is a little big for the square that I have right now, but this is what I've done. And I had more than one clearly because what I've done is used my, um, oops. <laughs> Well, let's pretend this is it. So I first, I glued my window um, inside. Oops, get a little far. I glued my window inside, just like we did for, for the uh, specimen, okay? And once that was done, I went to my sewing machine and I sewed all around it. And I added this around it but whatever model you have you can use I'm wondering about something here I also have these but now it's oval and I already cut a circle oh that would oh actually this would work <gasps> oh let me see <laughs> I don't I wonder if I have another that would be I mean this oh this one is beautiful oh I like that but it doesn't have all the that you know fanciness of this but this would actually work really well as well um do i have another yes but it's very colorful i don't want that mm. all the other ones are super colorful like too dark if you will like this one this is nice but this is red on the other side i don't want it too colorful too dark nope and what about this one? Uh, there's bugs. Okay, well, anyways, this would look fabulous. Oh my goodness, would it ever look? Oh, I gotta do this now. I'm gonna have to do it, not today, but but just to show you because, you know, can't stay here and, and go ooh, ah, and do nothing. So, what you would do is clearly glue one on each side, like so. See how beautiful. So whatever, wherever, and like this is just an oval. These are more fancy ones. So if you have fancy, beautiful die cuts, use them. Um, and there you go. So I glued the inside, stitched around. I sewed around. I mean, if you don't have a sewing machine, don't forget that trick I've showed many times. It works every single time. Where is it? Where is my pen? I think I left it upstairs because I needed it. So, oh wait, I have another. So what I do is, I use something like that and let me find a scrap of paper. So all I do is I do a few zigzaggies like this. And sometimes I even like end it like, like this. Or I'll glue real thread at the end I will glue like I will just like bunch it all up and glue it at the end here somewhere and it looks like it's a real it's a real thing you wouldn't know unless you really oh it's not real and it, it does the trick because I didn't always have a sewing machine so back when I didn't have I did not have one 
this is what I would do. So I'll just show you. Real, oops, that was a lot of glue. Um, <laughs> ah, well, that is a lot. Okay. I just want to show you real quick because we're here to learn. So hold on. So you bunch it all up just like that. I would use like liquid glue, but I just want to show you. So do you know what I mean? Like once it's all dried, it's not the right way. I'm trying to unbunch it now. There, that's better. See what I mean? So once it's dried, so let's say it was on this piece of paper that I done it. Once it's dried, it really looks like stitching. So no, nothing prevents you from doing that or just leave it. You don't have to have stitching uh, all around at all. You can you can do whatever. You can put some fabric here and there. There's all kinds of what you can hand stitch. Just a few ones here and there all again to add some interest and it makes it look more uh, finished and vintage, I find anyways. I've used these tricks all the time before, before I got a uh, sewing machine. So if you don't have a sewing machine, this little thing, you don't have to go all around either. You, you can do this, let's say here, oops, here, and maybe vertically here. And that's all you would need. Just a tiny bit here, a tiny bit there, and it adds so much and it makes it look uh, just as good as if you had, you know, sewed all around. Believe me, you can try this. I've done this many, many times. Okay, and then you glue your die cuts on each side and now as you can see the coffee stain paper uh, the book page and the coffee stain book page is really really dark so all i've done is once i did everything else i added some white gesso with my fingers not with the brush i find the brush adds too much just with my finger and i really rubbed it all around so let me show you okay i got my piece of paper just to show you how it really really looks amazing so dark and you want to lighten it a tiny bit but you don't want it to be totally white because then you don't see the beautiful paper but if you really rub it see how it can really i mean maybe if i get a little closer and i'll do it again so first when i apply it it's really thick see but then and it dries fast, so you kind of have to... And I spread it really thin. And it adds just enough of that subtle... There. Oh, it's just perfect. It's subtle, but it does what it needs to do. And all of a sudden, your paper is a lot lighter. See? It's a lot lighter. And it still looks very vintage. I absolutely love doing this and I did it on both sides so I'm circling back to what I said at the beginning so let me close my gesso now my fingers will be filled with gesso <laughs> but I'm not going to stop the video just to wash so I'll do that after it doesn't matter okay so coming back to my journal um, whoops let me back up a tiny bit okay now I'm really thorn because I don't want to just start my journal like this. For those of you who've seen my other journals or purchased them, I never leave it blank. It has to have a lot of stuff. I was thinking of maybe putting this in the front, like so, and have it like open, whether it's this way or that way. And then now, I should say, my first idea was to put this here and then add this somewhere there. And then you can open this and you see the rest of the page and you know I think it was pretty cool then I thought maybe put it here again it will open I will probably put eyelets or something so that you can <clears throat> open it this way and I thought this looks beautiful with the white and the delicate you know arabesques I think you can call them it's beautiful just like that and it would still open it doesn't you know change anything or like this you know what I mean but now that we've done this one together I must say I really like the 
contrast or it's not contrast because this is the same as the paper but the intricate details here and the butterfly it matches the color matches the paper i'm really not no i don't know what i'm going to oh this would look nice right here too so as you can see now i don't know where i'm going to go with this journal i guess next time we see each other i would have made a decision i don't know um, but I will be working on this journal. I will try and film the process of most of it whenever I uh, make additions. Like this will probably go in or maybe I will do the ones with the laminated butterflies that I will put inside. So maybe I will cut two of the same and just laminate, you know, through. And there you go. So we'll see. I, I'm not sure which one I will put, but I wanted to give you an option because this is absolutely cute and it would look lovely in a page look at that it's gorgeous so i will leave you on this today i'm hoping i gave you a few ideas um like i said i will link the video for the page cover um the journal cover i mean and i will also link the video of what did i say i wanted to show you the process of i don't remember I'll have to look at my video and editing and put it. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the freebie is I will just download them to my, I guess I will put them on my Facebook page, which my Facebook is the same as my name, the Purring Cat Studio. So look up the Purring Cat Studio on Facebook um, and I will put those sheets right there for freebies why not yeah 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 i really like these i really reworked all the pictures to make them look old i think the size is perfect and yeah i hope you like them so i will put those on my facebook page by the way if i find that i am capable of linking those pages the jpeg or jpeg um in the description box i don't know if youtube allows to just Put JPEG in there that people can click, pop on their screen, and print. I will do so. I don't know if I can. So <laughs> you'll have to go look in my description box to see if there's a link to print those freebies. If not, just head to my uh, Facebook page and you will be able to print them from there. So this is it for me. I will say, like I always say, I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I hope, I really hope you're all, all happy, healthy, and safe. I think I already said that. I think I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I double wish it. <laughs> and, uh, well, I hope to see you soon. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.